eggs are an important part of any balanced diet. They contain protein as well as many vitamins and minerals, which help keep our bodies healthy. Australians eat more than 3.5 billion eggs every year. And in feeding us all those eggs, our egg production industry has an important task. This video will take you through the entire egg production process. So which comes first, the chicken or the egg? Let's start with the female chicken, better known as a hen. The hens which lay the eggs we eat are called layers. They're cross-bred to ensure the maximum number of eggs are produced. Their parents are called breeders. Breeder stock is selected from several different breeds. These include strains of New Hampshire, Rhode Island Red and White Leghorn, all of which can be cross-bred. Parent stock is imported from approved countries as fertile eggs and reared in an approved quarantine facility where they're monitored for disease. When the specially raised hens are old enough, they're mated with roosters. This results in fertilised eggs. Basically, the hens run around in a uh, barn environment and the roosters intermingle with the hens and go about their business. We cross them up uh, in a particular combination which enables us to colour sex our birds. So all our hens come out brown and all the boys, the cockerels, they come out white. Fertilised eggs are placed in an incubator, keeping them at precisely the right temperature, humidity and ventilation. After 18 days in the incubator, the eggs are moved to the hatchery. After three days in the hatchery, the chicks are ready to start their life on a farm. These chicks will grow up to be layers. The eggs that they lay will not have chicks growing inside them. Basically, the machines run at uh, between 37.1 and 37.3 degrees. Uh, they're computer controlled and uh, our hatchery staff monitor that uh, on a regular basis. If required, the hen's beaks are trimmed by experienced operators to industry welfare standards. This reduces injury and death to other birds through social competition. Beak trimming is usually carried out when the chicks are one to 10 days old. Hens are also protected from disease through vaccination. Vaccines work by increasing the hen's immunity to infectious diseases. Further vaccinations are also given later in life to protect them from diseases such as fowl pox, infectious bronchitis and many others. It's essential that rearing facilities are clean and free from disease. All sheds are cleaned and disinfected before use. Quality assurance programs assist in maintaining strict biosecurity in every stage of the production process. These programs also ensure that animal welfare standards are retained. Newly hatched chicks need heating during their first four weeks of life. Modern rearing sheds use 24-hour monitoring systems that automatically control temperature and ventilation. The temperature begins at about 32 degrees Celsius and is gradually reduced to 18 to 22 degrees, the average outdoor temperature. The chicks are fed a carefully balanced diet to meet their requirements for energy and growth. They're weighed regularly to ensure they stay on their target weight. This ensures they come into lay with a body size adequate to support egg production. Once the birds reach 16 weeks of age, they're ready to be transferred to the laying facilities. The laying cycle begins when a hen is 17 to 19 weeks old and lasts for about 56 weeks, by which time the hen is about one and a half years old. There are three main types of egg production. Barn, cage, and free range. The advantage of the cage system is being able to control your environment. We can get the feed right, we can get the water right, we can get the temperature right, 
air quality right, we can keep out foxes, eagles, rats and mice. And that keeps the hens happy and happy hens produce a lot of good eggs. For the free range system, the hens lay their eggs and sleep inside the sheds here. Once they've laid their eggs, they have complete freedom to wander around wherever they want to go. There's a pair of hawks circling over there above those chickens at the moment. And there's another pair up there near those trees. Louis, the guard dog, and he protects the hens from eagles that come in across from the hills to the back here. And he, he will stay around and chase them away if necessary. The advantages of the, the barn system is that the hens can move throughout the entire shed. They have a lot of areas where they can scratch. Um, they also have a lot of perching areas. We've got a track feeder that runs the entire length of the shed. There's a lot of space for the chickens to eat. In the feed there's, there's a lot of grains, wheat, sorghum. There's limestone which helps with the calcium development for the shell and added vitamins and minerals. And you can see the birds help themselves to water whenever they need it. In each system, the welfare of the birds is monitored by feed and water consumption, as well as daily checks of the hens. Vets visit regularly to ensure the hens are healthy and free from disease. An important part of keeping the birds healthy is ensuring they have the correct diet. A balanced diet is essential in maintaining eggshell quality and yolk colour. Natural pigments included in feed help achieve a richly coloured yolk. If producing organic eggs, farmers will use only organically certified grains and vegetable protein meals. Special diets are also fed to selected flocks to provide eggs with a higher omega-3 content, which increases nutritional value. Eggs are laid in either hand-collected or automated collection nesting systems. Cage system eggs are collected mechanically. While barn systems use nesting systems with belt collection. And in free range farms, eggs may be collected by hand. After collection each day, the eggs are packed into fillers which go onto pallets for transportation and are delivered in a refrigerated truck to an egg grading floor for cleaning and sorting. They're washed and tested. By shining light through the eggs, the candling process helps identify inconsistencies inside the eggs. Eggs that are cracked or of unsuitable size may be turned into pasteurised pulp or dried egg, which is used in cooking. The eggs are sorted by weight and packed into cartons ready for delivery. Finally, the eggs end up in the supermarket where customers can choose from the wide range available. Free range, cage laid, barn laid, organic and nutritionally enhanced. The egg is truly one of nature's wonder foods. Perfect from every standpoint, nutrition, flavour and convenience. Eggs are packed with goodness and are versatile enough to enjoy at any meal occasion. Eggs are an important source of nutrients and vitamins. Eggs naturally contain the highest quality protein for human requirements. I like my eggs scrambled on hot buttered toast with salt and pepper and a little bit of parsley. I like my eggs poached. An omelette with ham, cheese and tomato and salt and pepper to taste. I like my eggs poached on toast with butter on top and work into the egg. I like them just done soft. Scrambled eggs and bacon for me. You can't get better than that.